What's going on on my YouTube? It is, I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys and continuing on in my series of Alfred Hitchcock reviews. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at the 1928 silent film, Easy Virtue. Marita Filton is named as correspondent in a scandalous divorce case. She escapes to France to rebuild her life where she meets John Whitaker. They are later married, but John's well-to-do family finds out Loretta's secret. So Easy Virtue was released in 1928, the second of three silent films that was released that year from Hitchcock. I previously reviewed The Farmer's Wife, which was an okay comedic film in Hitchcock's filmography. Nothing special by any means, but it wasn't the worst thing in the world. Easy Virtue, I wasn't expecting much because I haven't been the biggest fan of Hitchcock's silent films. You can tell uh, Hitchcock wasn't fully there yet with his craft. I prefer Hitchcock when he was making suspenseful thriller movies. And so far, of those type of movies, we've only had The Lodger, which was a really good start for an amazing career later on. And so far, the other silent movies haven't really uh, shown what Hitchcock was truly capable of. So I didn't have much anticipation for Easy Virtue. And again, this one is not a suspense thriller. This is more of a melodrama type film. Uh, we have this woman who is caught in a really bad scandal. And it really messes up her life for a good while. And she's trying to recover from that. The central core of the story, even though this is based off a of stage play apparently... The central core of this story reminded me a lot of a previous Hitchcock film I covered, Downhill, which involved the main character getting caught in a scandal and struggling to recover from there. Uh, th the only difference is Downhill, aside from the scandal sequence in the movie, which I thought was well done and well directed, the rest of the movie just didn't hold my interest. It just got too redundant after a while, and the main character wasn't really that interesting, and I just really... Couldn't get into the narrative on that one. But with Easy Virtue, I actually was invested mildly into the narrative. Like our main character, Lorita. From scene one, I think the difference is you feel sympathy for her from scene one. Because we see her side of the story. We see that she was just a really bad victim in this scandal. Like, this case was all due to a misunderstanding and she's being led to believe like she's like the most evil woman in the world when she had nothing to do essentially with what actually happened. It was just a misunderstanding and a ploy caused by her abusive, drunken husband. And once we see her fall from grace because of this scandal, you feel bad for her. You want to see her recover and uh, redeem herself and move on with her life. But this issues from her past which she wasn't originally a part of, keep coming back to haunt her uh, the more we see the conflict between her, her husband John now, and then John's family who want nothing to do with her, especially after finding out about the past scandal. And so this is a movie where, yeah, it is melodramatic. Uh, there's aspects and tropes in this movie that aren't really my favorite tropes in the world or anything like that where... People freak out over misunderstandings and they treat people like dirt when they don't understand the truth of what's actually going on. Those stories can be very annoying to me, but I think this one works because, well, for one, Hitchcock's filmmaking is really clever at times. Uh, I love how disorienting he makes the court sequences at the beginning and end of the film. Like There are some really cool camera tricks in certain parts of the movie that I have to commend. Also, like I said, you feel really bad for the main character. And I think that's the main difference I have between Easy Virtue and Downhill and why I enjoyed Easy Virtue more because you feel really bad for the main character, Lorita. I can't say this is the essential Hitchcock movie you should watch or anything, but of the silent movies that I've covered so far, Outside of The Lodger, which I thought was a really good film. Of the other silent films, I've enjoyed Easy Virtue the most. I thought it was well done on a technical level back then. And this is one of the few non-suspense thriller Hitchcock silent films where I was invested mildly 
and the overall storytelling. Now, I did zone out several times. A lot of these older silent films tend to do that for me. But this movie's still pretty decent. I It's not the best movie or anything. I know, obviously, Hitchcock's done better the more he learned to perfect his craft, the more he made movies. But this movie's not bad. Like, I do mildly recommend this one. It's not an essential by any means, but it's not the worst thing in the world either. And considering I haven't been the biggest fan of Hitchcock's silent films, a movie I mildly enjoyed is better than a movie that I did not enjoy. This is definitely better than The Ring, Downhill, and The Pleasure Garden especially, which were movies I didn't enjoy that well. So as for Easy Virtue, I'll be giving the film a three and a half out of five stars, and on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 63 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Easy Virtue as part of my Alfred Hitchcock director project where I'm going through his complete filmography from his directing debut to his last film. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're a fan of Alfred Hitchcock, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out my Hitchcock playlist where you can check out the previous Hitchcock reviews I've done on the channel so far. At the time of this video, I'm still on Alfred Hitchcock's early British silent films. I've only reviewed films like The Pleasure Garden, The Lodger, The Ring, Downhill, and The Farmer's Wife. I have a lot more Hitchcock reviews to go. I'm about to get to the point where Hitchcock made sound films. And then much later on, I'll get to where he moved to Hollywood and made the big, epic, acclaimed films that we all know and love that, uh, to this very day. So i got a lot more Hitchcock reviews to come on this channel. So if you're a fan of Alfred Hitchcock... Feel free to click the link in the description below to check out my past videos. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of future Hitchcock reviews. Join me next time in this director project where I'll be taking a look at the third and final 1928 release in Hitchcock's career. And it's for a movie called Champagne. Be on the lookout for that video coming very, very soon. But if you've seen Easy Virtue, let me know down in the comments below would you follow the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!